What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today we're taking a look at the sneaker releases in the beginning of June and whether I think they're going to sit or whether I think they're going to sell. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet and want to see more content just like this. Also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But with all that out of the way, let's get into it. First of all, huge thank you to StockX for sponsoring this video and helping me put it together. I'm sure you're familiar with StockX already, but if you're not, it's a great online marketplace to buy and sell your brand new sneakers. If you're a buyer, StockX is great because they've got an incredible selection of sneakers. You can find pretty much anything that you're looking for from new releases to OG Jordans to Supreme to Pat to Bape, to Rolexes, anything streetwear, sneakers, watches, you're good to go. And the best thing about StockX, if you're a buyer, is that anything that you purchase on the website or on the app actually gets shipped directly to StockX to be legit checked before they send it out to you. So that guarantees that anything that you buy on StockX is guaranteed to be authentic. And if you're a seller, StockX has a lot of great resources to help you sell your sneakers for the most money and as quickly as possible. You can either sell your shoes right away to the highest bidder, or if you're willing to wait to maximize your profits, all you have to do is set a buy it now price and wait for someone to buy it from you. StockX is my go-to for all my buying and selling needs. Whenever there's a new sneaker coming out that I want to grab or there's a sneaker that I missed, StockX is the place that I go to first. So StockX and I teamed up on today's video to make sure that every sneaker that releases in the beginning of the month, you have a chance to grab. So if there's a sneaker that you missed from today's list or a shoe you want to grab early or even just a shoe you want to resell, make sure to click the link in the top of the description to check out StockX for yourself. With all that being said, let's jump right into the list. So because this video came out a little bit later in the month than it usually does, I'm actually going to skip June 1st and June 2nd because there weren't any crazy releases. So instead, I'm gonna start off the list on June 6th with two sneakers from the Nike Be True collection. The first is the Nike Epic React Flyknit Be True 2018. This is an all-black Nike Epic React with rainbow detailing. And overall, I think it's a great looking sneaker. From what I've seen of the Be True collection over the last couple years, the shoes are relatively limited. And because of that, I think this shoe will be limited as well. So because the shoe is a popular silhouette and it's also a part of the popular Be True collection, I think the shoe will probably sell out. Next up is the Nike Zoom Fly Be True 2018. I actually like the Nike Zoom Fly silhouette. I think it's a really nice looking sneaker. I also like how the shape of the sneaker is pretty unique. And in this sort of minimal rainbow Be True colorway, I don't think it's a bad looking shoe. But because the Nike Zoom Fly hasn't really been a very popular silhouette, I just don't really see this shoe selling. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna give it a sit. Moving on to June 6th, the first shoe to drop is the Nike VaporMax 2 Laser Orange. You guys know how I feel about the VaporMax and especially the VaporMax 2. I'm just not a fan of the silhouette at all. I mean, the VaporMax 1 doesn't look bad, but I don't understand how the VaporMax 2 just looks worse. The things they did to it, like add the external heel counter and also start making these really weird colorways didn't really work for me. And I've gotta be honest, the VaporMax 2 in this Laser Orange colorway just doesn't do anything for me either. I think a couple people will like the shoe, but it's definitely not for me. And I also think it's probably gonna sit. Next up is another Nike VaporMax 2, this time around in the white pure platinum colorway. This colorway is almost identical to the first colorway of the very first VaporMax. And I think out of every Nike VaporMax 2 colorway that I've seen, this might actually be the most wearable, at least in my opinion. But because we've had sort of an influx of Nike VaporMax collaborations, and the only ones that have really done well have been the off-white VaporMaxes, I think people are just a little bit tired of this silhouette, so for that reason, I think it's gonna sit. Next up is another sneaker that's somehow worse than the VaporMax. And that's because it's actually a cross between the VaporMax and the Aneva. It's the Nike Air VaporMax Aneva Rainbow. I hate the silhouette. I've said in the past that I think they took the worst part of the VaporMax and the worst part of the Aneva and put them together. I just think this shoe is trash. The white and blue colorway that came out a couple weeks ago did better than I thought, but the way they added these colors into the upper of the sneaker just doesn't look amazing. And I don't think a lot of people are gonna be drawn to this shoe. So for that reason, I think it's gonna sit. Rounding off June 7th is the Nike KD4 Think 16. This is one of the final and most anticipated sneakers to drop from the Art of a Champion pack. This is one of the first times the KD4 has been retroed and I think a lot of people have been looking forward to it. The shoe comes draped in a pretty clean white and blue colorway and the fact that the sneaker will be relatively limited means a lot of people are going to try and get their hands on a pair. Because of who Kevin Durant is and because of the fact that people are so hyped on this KD4 silhouette, I think the sneaker is going to sell. Moving on to June 8th, we've got a women's release of the Air Jordan 3. This Air Jordan 3 comes in a minimal, sort of dusty pink, dusty rose colorway. This sneaker was actually completely redesigned from the original Air Jordan 3 by the all-female design team at Jordan Brand. The design was changed up to give the shoe a more clean and simple look, but also to reduce some of the bulk from the standard Air Jordan 3. I think the sneaker looks great. I wish it came in men's sizes because I love that colorway. And overall, I think it's gonna sell. Next up, we've got the Nike Flyknit Trainer in Velvet Brown. This is another Nike Flyknit Trainer. It's a good looking shoe. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but we've had so many colorways released in such a short time. I think people are kind of sick of it. If you haven't had a chance to pick up a Flyknit Trainer yet, or you really like this sort of velvet brown colorway, this might be the shoe for you. But regardless, I just don't see it selling out. 
The next shoe is another sneaker from the Art of a Champion collection, the Nike Air Force 270 Think 16 Gold. This is a pretty shiny gold and black Air Force 270. The gold comes in sort of a metallic colorway, so it really pops. Out of all the Air Force 270 colorways that I've seen, this one might actually be my favorite. I haven't really been a huge fan of the Air Force 270, and I think that's just because the colorways that have come out really haven't been my thing. But honestly, this black and gold really doesn't look bad on the shoe. Because of the limited nature of the shoe, and because black and gold is really popular right now, I think the shoe is probably gonna sell. And finally, rounding off June 8th is the Parley Adidas Ultra Boost Clima in the white colorway. Over the last year or two, Adidas and Parley of the Oceans have been working together to reduce ocean plastic pollution. And the really interesting thing is that the way they're doing this is actually by recycling ocean plastics and using them in the upper of their sneakers. So a large portion of the fibers being used in the primate upper of this sneaker are actually from recycled ocean plastics. It's a super cool cause and the Parley collaborations with Adidas have actually been really nice looking sneakers. But because I think even though this is a relatively limited sneaker, it won't be too hard to get. And because the Ultra Boost Climate Silhouette hasn't been that popular, I just don't see this shoe selling out. Moving on to June 9th, we've got two sneakers from the Diamond Supply and Puma collaboration. They're both Puma Abyss Diamond Supply Co. sneakers. One comes in black, one comes in black knit. I actually don't know a whole lot about Puma resale. I know the Thunder Spectra sold really well. These ones, on the other hand, I just really have no idea. But because this is a Diamond Supply Co. collaboration, and I think the silhouette does look really good, I think there's a chance it could sell out. Next up, we've got a pretty interesting hybrid, the Air Max 90 slash 1. In the same way that Sean Watherspoon's shoe was an Air Max 97 with an Air Max 1 outsole, this shoe is an Air Max 90 with an Air Max 1 outsole. The colorway too is about as classic as you can get, and if you missed out on the restock of the OG Air Max 1, this isn't a bad way to go. Because of the popularity of the Sean Watherspoon hybrid, and because the shoe doesn't look bad overall, I think the shoe might sell. Next up is the Air Jordan 32 Low Last Shot. This is a black and red Air Jordan 32 Low. It doesn't look bad overall. It's a great basketball sneaker, but I just don't see the shoe selling out. Following that, we've got the Air Jordan 2 Retro Mellow 2018. This is obviously a Jordan 2 Carmelo Anthony PE. And if you guys like the Air Jordan 2 or really like Carmelo, this is definitely a good sneaker to pick up. I'm not a huge fan of the white and light blue colorway, and I'm not really a Carmelo fan, so this is probably a shoe that I won't be looking to pick up. But I do think the shoe will be limited, and with the recent uptick in Jordan brand popularity, I think the shoe will probably sell out. Moving on to one of the biggest releases of the month, it's the Air Jordan 4 Travis Scott Cactus Jack. Whenever rappers do collaborations with Jordan brand on like classic Air Jordan silhouettes, you know the shoe is gonna be impossible to get. Not only that, but this shoe bears a striking resemblance to the Air Jordan 4 M&Ms. Even though this is a new blue, black, and red colorway, it already looks like a classic, it already looks like it's gonna be really popular, and the fact that this shoe is gonna be very limited means that the resale prices are gonna be insane. So I think by this point, there's no question in anyone's mind, the shoe is definitely gonna sell out. And finally, rounding off June 9th, we've got a pretty big Yeezy release, the Adidas Yeezy 500 in Supermoon Yellow. Even though there was huge production numbers for the blush colorway of the Yeezy 500, the shoe still sold out. Obviously, that's due in part to the shoe being Yeezy and the fact that people are really into this dad shoe trend. But for me, I still thought the shoe was really ugly and I wasn't a huge fan of that colorway. And I've got to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this one either. If you were one of like the five people that missed out on the blush colorway, you've got another chance at a shoe that looks very similar. This Supermoon yellow colorway is very similar to the blush colorway, however it's got sort of more yellow, sort of buttery color to it. And if you're a hardcore Yeezy fan, this is definitely a shoe that you're gonna wanna pick up. Even though I'm not a huge fan of this sneaker, because my job is literally to review sneakers for you guys, I'll probably try and pick up a pair for myself, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. Obviously because this shoe is a Yeezy 500, it's gonna sell out. June 9th has a lot of big releases. I didn't realize so many things were coming out in that one day. Again, if you guys missed out on any of these shoes or wanted to grab them early, definitely check out the SockX link in the top of the description. Moving on to June 12th, we've got two Puma RS0 releases. To my knowledge, the Puma RS0 is a new silhouette, and the way they're introducing it is in sort of this Sega collaboration. So the two shoes dropping on the 12th are the Sega Dr. Eggman and the Sonic the Hedgehog colorways. Both shoes look good, and I'm definitely interested in trying out a pair for myself, so make sure to stay tuned for a review. With that being said, I think there's a lot of nostalgia towards the Sega collaboration and I think people will be interested in trying out this new silhouette so for that reason I think these shoes are probably gonna sell out. Moving on to June 14th, we've got the very fitting Air Jordan 14 Last Shot. This is a pretty clean black colorway of the Air Jordan 14. You've got red accents throughout and then of course that Ferrari inspired Jordan brand logo on the heel of the sneaker. If you love the Air Jordan 14 or love the story behind the Air Jordan 14 Last Shot, this is definitely a good way to go. Even though this isn't a shoe that I'm looking to pick up, I think a lot of people will be interested in it. So for that reason, I think the shoe is gonna sell. 
And rounding off June 14th, we've got two more colorways at the Adidas Ultra Boost Clima. The first is the core black colorway, and the second is the solar yellow. From a distance, these two shoes might just look like regular black or white sneakers, but when you get a closer look, you can see in between the knit that there are some colorful accents. On the white pair, you've got some hits of neon yellow or green, and on the black pair, you've got some hits of red. Both of them look pretty good, and if you're looking for a more colorful option when it comes to the Ultra Boost Clima, this is a good way to go. I do think some sizes in these colorways might sell out initially, but I think they'll probably restock. So overall, I think I'm gonna have to give these shoes a sit. If either of the two colorways sold out, I think it would probably be the solar yellow because it kind of looks like it glows in the dark and people are into that. Moving on to June 15th, we've got three releases. The first is the PG2 in the white ice colorway. I love the PG2. I think it's a good looking shoe. I think it's a great basketball sneaker. I love the budget price range, but there really isn't any hype behind the sneaker and the colorway isn't that interesting. So I think this shoe is probably gonna sit. Next up is the Air Max 98 in the black anthracite colorway. Air Max 98s have been making a pretty big comeback this year and they've been very popular. This colorway is pretty clean and pretty easy to rock and I think overall, it probably will sell. And finally, rounding off June 15th, we've got the Air Vapor Max Plus B True 2018. The Air Vapor Max Plus is another sneaker that I'm really not a huge fan of. Even though I'm not a huge fan of this sneaker as a whole, people do seem to like this silhouette and they also like the fact that it's in the B True collection, so I think for that reason, it might sell out. Finally, moving on to the last day that we're gonna cover in today's video, June 16th. First off, we've got the Air Force One Low Independence Day 2018 pack dropping. As you would expect, this pack includes three sneakers that come in red, white, and blue. Each pair comes in one solid colorway, and to my knowledge, they are just basic Air Force One Lows. But because of the fact that they probably will be limited and also come in the Independence Day pack, I think these shoes will probably sell out. And finally, rounding off the list, we've got two pretty hyped colorways of the Air Jordan 4 dropping. The first is the Levi's Air Jordan 4 in the black colorway. The first Levi's Air Jordan 4 released back in January in sort of a navy denim color. The entire upper was made up of premium Levi's denim, but the one problem that I personally ran into when wearing the shoe was that because it was in this sort of denim blue colorway, it was tough to rock with jeans. However, with this next Levi's Air Jordan 4, I don't think it'll be as big of a problem because black denim is easier to rock with a lot more pairs of pants. But as you would expect, the shoe is gonna be very limited and very difficult to get so the shoe is definitely gonna sell out. If you're not lucky enough to get the black pair of the Levi's Air Jordan 4s, you do have another chance on the same day because they're also dropping the white colorway. The shoe is the same construction as the two other Levi's Air Jordan 4s and it also comes with a gum outsole. But unlike the other two colorways, it doesn't come in a dark colored denim. Instead, it comes in a bleached white colorway. This colorway is insanely bright and because the materials that they're using on the upper are relatively absorbent, I know the shoe is gonna pick up stains. I do really like the way this colorway looks though and of course, white shoes are very popular in the summer. But I think if I had to rank all three colorways, my favorites would be the navy, the black and then the white. Of course, like the navy and black colorway before it, this colorway will also be very limited and very difficult to get. So for that reason, the shoe is definitely gonna sell out. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the list for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what shoes you're looking forward to most. Also, don't forget to check out StockX in the link in the top of the description. If you missed any of these pairs of sneakers or wanna grab pairs early, that's definitely the best place to go. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.